Hey everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Gab and I'm back with another video like I told y'all I would, okay? If y'all are new here, welcome to the family. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and that bell so you always know when I'm dropping fresh content, okay? And if you are returning, welcome back. I love y'all, miss y'all. I hope y'all miss me as well. Let's get into the look, okay? I'm a little oily right now, actually, honestly, truly, so let's not get too into it. But this eye look is hitting these these brows. Yeah. But we're going to cut all the talk and we're going to get straight into the video. Hey, long nights, hard times. I was made for this. Made for this. I ain't never ran from Also, let's get into the nails. At some point, ooh. Okay, we a little fresh, a little grow in, but you know the vibes, period. The pink and white ombre, period. Period. Today's topic, okay, it's gonna be real quick. We're just gonna get to the nitty gritty of it all. Long distance relationships. They do take a lot of work on both ends. And if it doesn't, if both ends are not putting in 50-50, it's not, it's not gonna work. So I have my handy dandy phone here with my notes so that way I don't lose track of what I'm trying to say because that happens a lot with me. So let's talk about, you know, just, I didn't want to do a pros and cons type of thing because it's not cookie cutter like that. Um, I wanted to do a what type of things need to be discussed, need to be agreed upon, need to be understood before you get into this type of commitment. The first thing is how long have you known this person or have been dating them before y'all decided to make it long distance? That makes a lot of difference. Um, I've had a long distance relationship, a very long one. We met long distance and it's just, I think meeting in person and actually kind of establishing that thing first is important because you kind of know each other. It just feels like you know each other more. Obviously, even in any relationship, you're learning that person more and more every day. However, when it's just strictly like starting off as long distance, it can be a little bit more challenging to, you know, learn that person and feel like you're connected with that person, okay? So that's first and foremost. Not to say that either way makes anything last longer or be better or anything like that, but it's just something to consider. How often are y'all trying to see each other? Like, first off, how far are they away from you? some people long distance could be oh they're two hours away for some people it can be we're on two different coasts we've got time zones you know things like that um and obviously these can happen with any normal person but they're very much more frequent in military relationships so it depends on like how far away you want to be doing this like because some like two hours could be a quick little drive on the weekends Whereas, you know, I'm in this place on the East Coast, you're in, you know, the West Coast, and now we can't, it's not just a drive, we gotta plan trips, we gotta plan flights, things like that. So it's like, how often y'all gonna see each other every couple of months or once a month? Or, you know, are y'all driving weekends every other weekend? Y'all meet up halfway? Like, what are y'all doing? Are y'all both willing to do that all the time, factor in? Just y'all schedules, money, things like that because that can become an expensive like habit type of thing. So make sure that y'all are understanding that. The communication, you know, some people are phone people. Some people are not. Some people require you to be talking to them every second of the day, but if you factor in a time change or something like that, that's not always going to be a viable option for y'all. Somebody might be asleep when another person is still awake. Like, you know, things like that. How often are you wanting to FaceTime or talk on the phone or how often do you want this person to be texting you to feel, you know, still have that feeling like, you know, you kind of want to compensate for not being able to see them daily. So that's another thing. You could be a phone person. They could just be somebody who could put their phone down for a while and, you know, kind of forget about it. Some people are just built that way. And honestly, it can take a while to kind of, for somebody who's not built that way, to understand that 
they are just truly built that way and i know there's like this thing going like normalize uh changing instead of saying this is just how i am but sometimes this is just how people are and that's just it and it's point blank and either the talkative phone person either gets it or they don't or they can try and you know deal with that for as long as they want and if it works it works if it doesn't it doesn't what are y'all's boundaries we all not together and by boundaries i mean like what because some people are very overprotective i won't say overprotective but just very protective about their significant other um even in person relationships you know some people don't like people talking to this you know the opposite gender like don't be talking to this girl don't be talking to this guy don't be talking to these people don't be going to the club don't be doing this like you know there's certain things that like are boundaries for people like i don't like me do that don't do that so when you have a long distance relationship trust is a big thing a huge factor probably the main factor that goes into being in a long distance relationship and you have to trust that what they say and what they do is lining up because you can't see them all the time it just has to be a level of trust there um or just knowing that he you know what I'm saying that he or she won't cheat or anything like that I mean those things can happen in in-person relationships but it's just harder to do it you should know like you should just trust this person if you don't have enough trust in them thinking that they can go somewhere and they won't try and try something not saying that people won't surprise you because people will surprise you and honestly when it comes to me, like in my experience, I trusted the the other person. Me and this person were like on and off long distance for like five-ish years. I just kind of just had a trust for him. He just had one of those personalities where he really didn't, not that he didn't care if it hurt your feelings or not, but like he's gonna tell you the truth whether it hurts your feelings or not. Not that he's actively really trying to hurt your feelings, but it's just like, he's gonna tell you the truth and whatever is done in the dark is gonna come to the light so honestly it's the same thing like when you go through people's phones and stuff like that like if you go in there looking for something and you find something yeah of course there shouldn't be anything to find but if you're going in there with the inkling that you're gonna find something and you do find something well congrats you found what you were looking for and now what now what and that also leads me to open relationships now open relationships is something i would never ever do ever 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 do because that's just too much going on you know what i'm saying we together and you together with every uh, 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 uh. too many moving parts too many mm -mm, new but for some it works and i think that from their perspective it helps with maybe like sexual needs that other people may have other you know that may work for them um or you know they may love you you know what i'm saying they're very much emotionally physical uh, feelings wise attached to you and also obviously intimately but you know one of their stipulations is just like they like to have you know they want to be intimate often and so that may be y'all's compromise of okay let's have an open relationship so that way we can still have that bond that we have but you can still do what you need to do on other ends again it's all kind of based off of what works for y'all. A lot of people are jaded about long distance relationships and I just feel like it's because they had that one or two that just didn't go well. But that can be said about anything. It's just, there's a lot of reasons why somebody would do or not do something and it's based off of their experience. But that doesn't mean it works bad for everybody and it doesn't mean it works good for everybody. It just depends on what kind of experience you get and whatever. How long is too long? There's a time limit on everything I feel like and for me, I think that I don't, I think that for me, I think I extended my situation a little longer than I probably should have because I felt like I was overcompensating for that person as far as emotions. Not to say that he wasn't emotional, but he either had a different way of viewing his, like showing his emotions or he just really did it very sporadically, rarely. And I was the more emotional person in the pair. I guess I was just like, you know, we just need to, we need to just have a little bit, just a little bit longer and we'll, we'll, you know, we'll get there. Like we'll get to where we're like, my, our thing was like, cause we're both, we were both, we are both military and it was just in my head. Like, you know, we're going to finally get to that point where we're in the same place, but then we just never got stationed together. And then I was, you know, we got to a point where we were together for a little bit, but then that was very not 
long lasting. So it was just like the con the, just the stressors of like we want to like stretch it out and you know see that end of that tunnel but it's like it just got to a point where it's like where is when is the tunnel gonna be where's the light where is the light it's very much draining um it's, especially if there's a lot of other things factors going into it okay and the last thing i'm going to say this is like an opinion based question for me is what i do it again and Honestly, I say yes, I would do it again. However, I do believe like there have to be more of a physical foundation at the beginning. Whether we were dating or we were talking or something before we decided to date and then have this long distance thing, I just need some type of physical base like where we have actually hung out, spent time together. Honestly, for me, when I know that I'm very, I know this person is when I can do a good impression of them. Honestly, truly, because people who know me, my friends, they know I can do an impression. One thing about me, I'm gonna do a good impression. With my last long distance relationship, the first time we met, we first met in October 2016, we started dating in January of 2015. So that's what a year, dang near, I don't cuss on here, I forgot. That's about almost two years into the relationship that we finally met each other in person. And yes, we did FaceTime and all that, but you know, it was just a lot going on between, like I went to boot camp, he was deployed on a lot of that time. So we finally met up and it was very awkward. Not to say we didn't have a good time. We did when we finally decided to stop being awkward and actually go out and do something. But it was very awkward. It was just a very socially awkward experience. I don't know. But I mean, we obviously got past that. But it was just like, it, even though I, you know what I'm saying, we've been talking and, 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 and all that over for two, almost two years. It still felt like I was meeting him for the first time. So it was just like, I haven't, like, well, you never really been in this person's space. You don't know, you don't, I don't know. Y'all get what I'm saying, how y'all feel? We get at, we had the 20 minute mark on this video and I did not mean for it to last that long. So I'm hoping that with the editing and everything, I can get it down to like maybe 16, 17 minutes. Hopefully, I don't know. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I hope that y'all enjoyed this look. Oh my God, what's in the back? I'm dying. Anyways, leave me some ideas of what y'all want me to make videos about. Cause girl, listen, I had a book that had ideas. I think I threw that away when I moved to my new apartment. So I need y'all to tell me what y'all want to see. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share this video with your friends. Thank y'all for rocking with me this long. You know, I love y'all. Next week, we gonna have a video. We, I'm trying to cover out with a day that I'm going to upload a video. And basically, I'ma just put a figurative gun in my head and say, get up and record that video. Like, I was supposed to have this video for all Tuesday. It's Friday right now. And I was actually supposed to have it uploaded on Friday. But right now, it's eight o'clock. And I haven't eaten dinner yet. And I'm about to order these hot lemon pepper wings from Wingstop. So to tell y'all that I would have this video um, edited and uploaded by tonight will be a ball face lie. So it will be up tomorrow for y'all at some point. That is all for me. If y'all don't have nothing, I will see y'all in my next video. Thank you, bye.